Hi there, I hope you are well. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about our health in regards to working from the inside. Fitness is um, definitely an inside job and our health is definitely an inside job. A lot of people spend a lot of time and I know I have been a part of this journey where we invest in physical programs where we want to get you know, a toned arm, strong, as many as push-ups as we can, a handstand, um, a glorious booty, six-pack abs for the summer, lose certain amount of weight. And we invest in a lot of physical programs such as the um, weight loss programs, exercise programs yoga programs and then we go and invest in a lot of our nutrition programs and these are fantastic these are a very important part of our health but when you come to a point where you are dealing with health and you need to understand because you're not getting results either you're having chronic issues in your body like i've experienced or you're dealing with trauma uh, you're taking medicine and the medicine is not supporting what it's supposed to be supporting. You're taking supplements sometimes when your nervous system is so overreactive with supplements, your system tends to react to those supplements. This is when you really need to look at fitness from the inside. Now, we start that by working on things such as uh, vagus nerve breath and stimulation. So there's the woo breath when you inhale and Ooh, there's vagus nerve eye exercises so for example you're holding your thumb out and you're inhaling and you're exhaling looking at the thumb maybe even adding the woo breath Ooh. so in ancient yoga you had the om sound and a lot of those were actually and things that they were doing to stimulate the vagus nerve which science is now catching up now, I'm not like the biggest science guru of all those types of things, um, but I'm learning a lot about it now due to my journey, and I wanted to share a little bit about that. So I personally found meditation extremely hard. Meditation would bring me into anxiety, and it would leave me worse. <laughs> um, if you asked me to do breath work, such as uh, Wim Hof breath work, and... Um, anything that was very stimulating to the nervous system, I would go into anxiety-driven state. Now, if you know about um, the parasympathetic nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system, and also when you completely conk out and you're in your frozen state of the sympathetic nervous system where you're in shutdown, either due to trauma and other things that have occurred in your life, then one of the things that a lot of people don't tell you is, and isn't expressed maybe enough for us to understand is when we go into that type of breath work, we're actually going to come into an anxious state. If we are not familiar with the sympathetic nervous system being a safe place, for example, we've always been overwhelmed with surprises. Um, whenever we get excited, we feel like it's anxiousness and nervousness and not a healthy feeling because our body's never been able to be in that space of safety then when we move into the sympathetic nervous system, it's going to be very hard for us to move back up to the rest and digest because you have to move through shutdown into the sympathetic and into the rest and digest. And that's what happened to me that I would always end up in this anxious state. And so I would push away from breath work and anything that would bring me into that state. I didn't know personally that was a safe place to be in my body. And I've had to learn that over time. Now, with learning that, what we need to um, understand is healing isn't linear, which we know, but also healing is also part of pressing those norms and discomfort areas in a safe way to build resilience and stress capabilities and also to work with the anxiety and get to um, the level where we can go into stress but come out of stress quite uh, healthily like our system has evolved. Now, I um, so I have recently um, invested, because of my health journey needing it, I've invested in two tools. One is this heart math. And I just wanted to share it with you in case someone else is struggling with their nervous system like me and you don't quite understand it. So I didn't understand why I was struggling with um, my anxiety and um, 
with the ability to meditate and all of these things and why it kept actually bringing me worse. Um, and I never really was a numbers person. I didn't like Garmin tools, sleep tools, and so on and so forth. But uh, due to the need of this with everything that I've gone through, I have started using this half math tool. And this half math tool raises your HRV in coherence in the moment that you're doing it. And so what I found was that when I was meditating, my HRV was often not so great. And by doing this regularly, I was able to, and I am in constant um, training of doing this, to be able to regulate myself better. So now when I feel that anxiousness, I know it's safe. It's okay to also be excited and anxious. It's not all about negativity and I can breathe through it. So the thing you need to understand is you do have to breathe through it. You're not going to get to a point where um, <laughs> by if you keep stepping away from it, you will ever be able to retrain this. So I've been learning to breathe through it and it's helping immensely. Um, so this half mat tool has um, been instrumental in me being able to feel safer in breath work and also to be able to regulate myself during the day when I have these anxious moments or I'm struggling with certain things by seeing this. Another thing that I've also found really great is if you're someone like me who has a lot on, who's go, go, go all the time, Maybe you're someone that over-exercises. Your heart rate variability is going to be impacted by that. If you are doing too much, then you're also going to struggle with resilience and having the energy levels, uh, not to be so anxious or not patient. Your, your over-exertion is just as important as your under-exertion. So you need to find that balance. And this is a great way to see like, okay, I trained really hard yesterday. Um, I can see my HRV is not so good, so today's training is going to be a little lighter in respect to my recovery. And that also helps my anxious state and my nervous system. So this is one tool um, that I found really great. And my doctors, um, I'm using a functional medicine doctor, um, Optimal Brain, and Daniel um, has been really great in the process of this when I've been doing um, a lot of tests and things in the Western medicine and not getting a lot of results, which has been very hard or not being able to understand what's going on, on top of doing um, work with repressed feelings and so on. And it was suggested to me that I needed to stimulate my vagus nerve more than I um, usually stimulate it by doing the woo breath, the eye exercises and things like that. And due to um, having stimulation on my skin is not something I want to do due to the reactivity at the moment. So I um, have been using a Neurosim. Now, um, these are tools also that I am using for the rest of my life. They're not going to be something that I'm doing just while I'm healing and when things become stable, I won't be using. I will be always using this. And the Neurostim works on the vagus nerve just here. Um, they have a left ear clip and a right ear clip. It all depends. So sometimes when you have um, certain health conditions like autism, they have to use one ear over the other due to brain stimulation. Anxiety, again, is one ear over the other. I'm not fully um, into all of those details yet, so I can't really um, specify. Um, but these are tools that I am not sponsored for or anything. I just really wanted to share and hope it helps someone. And they are a huge investment. I've had to save a lot to invest in this, um, but I have been noticing the results. And so with this, what I do is I, um, I clip it into my ear here. So it just goes into your ear on that inside bit. And then from there, you're just going to place it in and then you're gonna hook it onto your ear here. And then from there, you will start the stimulation process. It does get quite strong if you're not careful, so you don't want it too strong. You just want a subtle feeling in your ear and you set it up for a certain period of time because you can overstimulate. So this is the way this works and I will sit doing my work. Um, if I'm watching something, reading something, and I'll just put this on a maximum 60 minutes in a day. Um, and this helps to stimulate my vagus nerve, in turn, the health of my body. And this one, this is a clip and it goes with an app. The Neurosim doesn't need an app. Um, and it goes into my ear here. Just watch the earrings. And then you click it on. Then you go to the app and you press how long you would like to do it. 
how long you would like the breath. So I choose between five to six. I've done 10, but it's a little too long, 10 seconds. So that's a 20 second breath in total. And then it checks out your pulse and heart rate, and then it measures the coherence, your heart rate variability, and it, you can actually see it going up and down. And it talks about how you think about gratitude and breath in the heart to regulate with the heart. And it's an amazing um, experience. So if you're someone that struggles with meditation a lot um, due to the feelings of not feeling comfortable in meditation like me, getting anxiety or breath work, I would suggest this because it's a great tool to understand yourself. And if you're someone who is dealing with chronic conditions, um, even things like long COVID or my mum has multiple sclerosis, um, myself with the overreactive immune system, this is a great tool to help stimulate that vagus nerve, which is um, really, really important. Not only are we going bottom up to top, top to bottom, so we have to heal the gut and we have to do exercise but we also really important have to regulate our nervous system and most of us today are overstimulated and that's um, because we have so many dopamine hits with technology and also the fast-paced world um, we are getting more and more aware of our trauma we are overdoing things we're living in a world that's 24 7 but we are still human and need to rest and digest and so on and so forth so um, these are just some tools in case you are interested in uh, to help you to regulate that nervous system if you are looking for it. They generally say if you have had a condition for more than four months and the medication and supplementation if you're doing that as well or nutrition and exercise is not working, it's generally related to your nervous system. Therefore, you're going to have to calm your nervous system down so you're not so reactive to everything and you're going to be able to help work on your thoughts and your perspectives to heal also by doing that with your nervous system. So the nervous system is really the key player in most things as we know. Um, if you read the book Victor's a Frank man search for meaning, you know, if you can't change your environment, you have to change what you're thinking. And that's an incredible odd being in a, um, a camp that he was in, but it's, we really need to rewire ourselves to also find health. That's a big part of it. I hope this helped and um, have a great day. Namaste.